Hello and welcome to Code Graphic Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to make a HTML form and we're using PHP to gather the form information and do some pretty cool stuff with it. Before you get started watching this tutorial, I suggest you watch the tutorial I made on the basics of HTML and PHP code writing. Alright, to start off, as per normal, I'll be using Adobe Dreamweaver CS6 to do all my coding. But if you do not have this, you could always use Notepad or Notepad. Uh, I'm going to start with creating a new HTML. Get rid of all this, don't really like it. And you obviously need to find that it's going to be the HTML. HTML, and then the content goes in within the body tag, so you need to put the body tag in. Alright, when you're making a form, you obviously got to declare that you're making a form. So you do that with the form. And when you're also making a form, you always have to put the action of it in. Action, and the action is where the form is going to be sent to. So in this case we're going to send it to a PHP file so we can see it all so we'll put it as um, we'll make a name and age form so we'll name it name dot PHP and also you, when you made the declare a form you also put a method in that's how it's going to be sent you got delete get post or put post is the most dominant it is the easiest and securest way to do it so for now I'm going to be using post and you also got to name your form, and the name of the form is going to be, let's say, um, information, because we're gathering information of someone. And just close that form thingy there. Right, I'm just going to use the indentation so it's easier for you to read. So, so far we've declared that the, uh, we've, we're making a form. To put an element into the form, you can either put like a text box, check box, a drag down bar, and so forth. But we want to gather the first name of the person so we can just use the type first name and then you're going to start a new tag inputs because you put an input in and what you want to put um, the input is type because it's defining what type of input it is so you can have your buttons check boxes and so on but obviously first name you want to type in what your first name is so it's going to be a text box so a text you need to put in what the name of it is so when we display on PHP it can be easy to read name of it is your first name and that is it I don't know why my does that ends it there but it shouldn't now you also want to say you want the second name of someone second name just do the same again this time input type equals text again name second name this time alright so we'll have that for now that's pretty much just giving you first name and second name of a person so we'll start off with just that we also need to do now but wait before we get if you refresh it see how it just comes like that we just need to put a BR tag which is the new line BR there now it's there, go to the next line. Uh, we'll put another BR tag in so we can put a submit for tool in bar in. So to make it submit, you just go input type submit and then name submit and close that. Now that you've finished off your form, we're happy with that for now. I know it doesn't look good, but we can, I'll, we'll teach you more about that soon. You need to end the form. Uh, end the form because I'm using Dreamweaver. It will. I don't have to type the whole thing in. I just have to like end it, and then it'll automatically do it all for me. So see how come I'm just that, and it's automatically doing it for me. That's why I like Dreamweaver so much. So now, now for now, we've just got a form which we type in our first name, a second name, and submit it. All right. Now we're just gonna create a new, and we're gonna oh, create new. Blank page. We're going to make a new um, PHP file. We are, and so now we've got the HTML form of the um, the form, and now we're making a new PHP file which the form is going to be displayed on. So just define the tags of our HTML because all PHP goes into HTML tags body, and now. PHP, if you watch the um, basics of PHP, PHP always goes in between tag, 
this tag, sorry. And finishes like that. Then we've got to end the body tag and the HTML tag. Alright. Now, nothing will be displayed so far. So first of all, we got to gather the data from here on submit. We can do that by making variable. We'll have to start off with variables gathering this data or here, the first name, the second name. Oops. All right. So we do dollar. Say we want the first name, right? Dollar first, because for sure first name equals. Then you want dollar underscore post, because the method we chose was post. Then you do square brackets column thingy and then you go type in which variable you wanted it from so we're getting the first name from we named it first name first name and then finish off and then now we want the second name so we'll name it seconds equals dollar underscore post and I'm pretty sure we named that second name as well yep Second name, and there you go. So now we've got the variables. We've gathered the variables from the form. So we gathered it. Now that this PHP file knows your first name and your second name, you can do whatever you want with it. You can say display it. You can do add on to it. Blah blah. For now, we're just going to display it. Say echo because that's what you do and tell I want to display something. Echo. Your first name is dollar first. Dollar first, that'll obviously display your name what you typed in. Ooh. And say so you want to display your second name, dollar. Your second name is dollar second. Alright, so now all that will be shown when we display this page is your first name is dollar, um, your first name is whatever you typed in and your second name is whatever you typed in. But we did not define new a new line, so we're going to have to define just a quick new line so we don't get confused, which is over n. Pretty simple. Alright, I'm just going to save these two files so I can upload them to the web and then view them on a server as if you watch the tutorial again. PHP cannot be executed on a computer, it will not work, you have to do it on a server. So what I'm just going to do, I'm going to save as in, well that's my website, so I'm just going to save as desktop, and I'll name it, what did we name it? I forgot what we named it. So we need to save this as names.php, because we named it names.php in the form. Names. It doesn't really matter what we name this, so we're just gonna name this test uh names.html as well will. Names.html. Alright, now that I've saved these as names.html and names.php, I can upload them to the web to view them. How I'm doing it, I'm using what's called IPTO manager. As a student I get access to this and I will be using this, but there is other servers you can use. But I'm just gonna upload these quickly now. So well, I'll just quickly find them. Where'd they go? Names.html and names.php. Alright, so they've been uploaded. Now I'll just go to my view my website. These are all other ones I've made. So there's names.html that we made. See how come it's got the first name and the second name we created? So let's have my name, Luke Pritchard. And submit your name is your second name is Pritchard. So, as you can see, um, your first name is Luke didn't come up. That could have been a syntax error. So we can go back and debug it. And what I'm probably suggesting is I got that in the wrong place. So if I just quickly save that again and just go back, file manager quickly again. By the way, guys, you can apply for access to this IPTO. It's an Australian website, ipto.com.au. 
it's pretty handy as well if you learn other coding languages like it's got HTML, JavaScript. It is what I use at university as a student. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just good for you. <laughs> all right, go back quickly and just fix all this up. View website. So let's do that all that again. And submit, and there you go. It come up, but it didn't define the line because we didn't define a new line. Like so, it's on the same page. So as you can see, PHP is pretty cool. What we can do, but I will show you in another tutorial, is mathematics with it. So, what like you can do, you can type in a random load of numbers, and you can do a load of trigonometry with them. If like Pythagoras theorem, if you know all that is. What is also pretty cool that I made the other day is a game, like um, an online game, where you type in a random number between 1 and 12. And if you guess the name correct, um, guess the um, number correctly, you'll get a certain amount of points. Otherwise, other amount of points will be deducted. I'll show you that in another tutorial. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe if you really enjoyed that video. I really like thumbs up. And. Also, uh, from two hours ago, our new CadGraphicsTutorial.com website has been uploaded, so make sure to check that out. And hope you enjoyed the video. Just give me any questions or messages if you have any issues. Thank you. Bye.